Hey, my second grade friends. I'm so happy to see you today for our new phonics lesson on diagraphs. Sometimes two consonant letters can stand for one new sound that we call a diagraph. So let's look at the picture below me. Shark. Shark begins with the consonant diagraph SH. Together, the consonants stand for one sound, shh. The shh sound is not the sound of the letter S or the letter H, but a brand new sound, shh. Say it with me, shh. Great job. Now, let's read the words at the bottom of your screen. She, fish. The diagraph S H can stand for sh at the beginning or end of a syllable or a word. Let's learn about another diagraph. Look at the picture of the cheetah. Cheetah begins with the consonant diagraph C H. Together, the consonants CH stand for one sound, CH. The CH sound isn't the sound of the letter C or the letter H, but a brand new sound. Say it with me, CH. Awesome job. Read the first word at the bottom of the screen with me, CHIN. The diagraph CH can stand for the CH at the beginning or end of a word or syllable. Now let's read the next word, catch. The letters T, C, H can stand for the CH sound too, but only at the end of a word or syllable. Now let's look at the picture of the thermometer. Thermometer begins with the consonant diagraph TH. Together, the consonants stand for one sound. Th. The th sound is not the sound that T or H make, but a brand new sound. Say it with me. Th. Read the first word at the bottom of the screen with me. Thick. The diagraph TH can stand for the quiet th sound you hear at the beginning of thick. Now read this word with me, this. The diagraph TH can also stand for the louder sound th, as in this. When you say the TH in this, you can also feel your throat vibrate to make the louder sound. And when you say the quiet th in thick, your throat doesn't vibrate. You try. Great job. The diagraph TH can stand for the th at the beginning or end of a word or syllable. Now, let's look at another diagraph that's just a little bit different, boys and girls. Look at the picture of a fish. Now, we know fish begins with the f sound. One of the ways that we can spell the f sound is with our consonant diagraph PH. Look at the PH circled on the screen. Together, the consonants P and H stand for one sound, f. Say it with me, f. Now let's read the words at the bottom of the screen together. Phone, graph. The diagraph PH can stand for the f sound at the beginning or end of a word or syllable. Let's learn about one more diagraph, boys and girls. Look at the picture of the whistle. Whistle.
whistle begins with the consonant digraph WH. Together, the consonants stand for this sound. Hua. Say it with me. Hua. The consonants WH can also stand for this sound. Wa. Read the word at the bottom of the screen with me. Quail. The digraph WH can stand for the wh sound or w sound at the beginning of a word or syllable. Nice work, second grade. Now we're going to do some blending practice. Are you ready? Let's do it. We are going to blend the letters in line one to read a word. So I want you to say the letters and sounds with me. D, D, I, I, S, H, SH. What letters do S and H stand for together? SH. Yes, the digraph formed with SH sounds like SH. Let's look at the letters in line two. And we're going to slide them together to form a word. Listen as I slowly blend the sound and then read the word. D, I, SH, DISH. Now you're going to blend with me in line three. Ready? D, I, SH, DISH. This word has our consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant pattern. So the vowel has a short sound. Nicely done, second grade. Let's blend another word. We're going to blend the letters in line one to read a word. And this word has two digraphs. Say the letters and sounds with me. W-H, wh, I, I, C H. What sound do the letters WH stand for? That's right, if you said wh or wh, you're correct. Which one, which letters, I'm sorry, which one sound do the letters CH stand for? If you said ch, you're right. Let's slide the letters WH. I, C, H together to form a word in line two. Listen as I slowly blend each sound and then read the word. Qu, I, CH, WHICH. Now look at line three and blend the word with me. Qu, I, CH, WHICH. What are the two digraphs in this word? W, H, and C, H. Awesome work, second grade. Listen to this sentence, which is going to show me the meaning of the word which on the screen. Which way should we go? Awesome work. All right, boys and girls, we're going to blend one more word. We're going to blend the letters in line one to read a word. Say the letters and sounds with me. T H E E M M. Remember that sometimes the digraph T H sounds like the quiet sound in thumb. But in this word, we will blend the letters T H to make that louder sound. Mm. And remember when you say that sound, you can feel your throat vibrate. Try it while you say the word them. Put your hand right here, them. Awesome job. Now let's slide the letters a little closer together in line two, and I'm going to blend them and then say the word. Mm, them. Now look at line three and blend the word with me. Mm, them. Terrific work, second graders. Let's talk about a word family. 
Do you remember this word at the top of our screen? Read it with me. Dish. What do we get if we cover up the letter D? I'm gonna do that real quick for us. We're gonna cover up the letter D. All right, yes, we get ish. Pronounced ish. We can make more words that are in the ish family. Let's add the letter F to number one to make a new word. All right, boys and girls, what word have I made? Fish. Great job. Let's blend and build some more words. How about if I take the letter W? Let's take the letter W and add it to line two. What new word have I made? Wish. Great work. Now, I'm going to add S and a W. S and a W. Okay. What new word have I just made? Swish. That's right. Now, for our final word, I'm going to take this capital T and our R and I have made Trish. Awesome work. Now, let's read all of our words together that we built. Ready? Fish, wish, swish, trish. What is the same about all of these words? That's right, they all end in the letters I-S-H they rhyme, they are all in our same word family of ish. How can knowing the word family ish help you read new words? Hmm, well, I would know the new words because of the letters I-S-H, right? And it would stay the same, only our beginning letters are different. Awesome work blending our word family, you guys. I'm so proud of you. All right, boys and girls, we're going to practice reading some words together. Are you ready? Uh, sh, rush, ch, at, chat, th, oh, z, those, w, i, th, with. Great job, let's read them faster. Rush, chat, those, with. Let's move on to the next line. Wh, i, p, whip, f, a, z, phase, sh, o, n, shown, m, a, ch, match. Now let's read them faster. Whip, phase, shown, match. Last line, second grade. Graph, graph, th, uh, m, p, thump, w, i, n, when, p, i, ch, pitch. Let's read them quicker. Graph. Thump, win, pitch. Nice work, second grade. I'll see you next time.